Hey, as I promised before, man, in, in my uh, previous videos that I made, uh, I promised I was going to make a full review on uh, um, uh, Mac Miller's uh, uh, last album, Swimming. Uh, well, let's cut to the chase. This is obviously, uh, I'm, I'm obviously going to say that this is not just only uh, just a quick review episode like I always do, but this is as well as a tribute uh a tribute review to uh, Mac Miller and maybe somewhere next week or somewhere down in the future when more uh, uh, more uh, evidence comes out about Mac Miller and what drugs he was on and you know everything else that happened of course I'm gonna report that to y'all cuz yet again the shit literally just happened like it just happened and of course me of course him being my idol it pretty much shred I was pretty much shredded to pieces when I heard it uh, the only thing I know about is uh, that I heard recently is that when they found him in his uh, in his uh, house, that all the drugs was cleaned out, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna actually bring it way back before I talk about uh, before I talk about swimming. Uh, my earlier and my most my earlier uh, Mac Miller review when I was. You know, making a review about the rapper in general, his skill and whatnot. Uh, I more or less said during the end of that uh, review, I was I was still listening to the Great Feminine, and I said how much you know, I said how much I was uh, you know iffy and skeptical about it because you know most of the songs is really uh, romantic related, and I wasn't really in the mood for that right now. I mean, but but now that I finished it whole, now that I finished the Great Fem uh, Feminine. Uh, I more or less came to a conclusion that, that uh, I feel like I feel like the Great Feminine, considering that album in itself was just so drastically different from all of uh, his previous albums that he made before that, like Macadelic, Best Day Ever, The High Life, uh, Thank You, and and Mac and uh, uh, Blue Side Park, and so on. The fact that the whole even concept, the music genre, the the, the, the atmosphere of the great feminine was just so vastly different from those previous albums and me approaching it with you know new ears and different ears I just more or less thought about that album as just it was just you know it was your typical R&B as love music and whatnot and I really wasn't messing with it like that I mean I didn't hate it but I, but I wasn't really messing with it but after literally just hearing all of Swimming and pretty much liking pretty much about every track from So It Goes and, and, and Jet Fuel and uh, Self Care and, and, and 2009 all that. Uh, more or less went back to The Great Feminine and I just, and I heard it again. I heard the, 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 most of the tracks on the album. And I just thinking back about it, I'm like, actually, you know what? This is actually, The Great Feminine is actually better than I thought. And no, I'm not saying this because, well, you're just only kissing up to Mac Miller because he just died recently. But no, no. I personally just enjoyed The Great Feminine for what it was because I felt like The Great Feminine was literally the key, was literally the keys for Mac Miller to open the door to a new uh, concept and styles and genres in terms of his flow and rap uh, went. The whole jazz rap uh, concept to it, it, that's pretty much what it was. More or, less in, more or less I'm saying, The Great Feminine was the key to the door for Mac Miller to unlock himself to a new completely different genre and flow. And, you know, shit changes up for a minute. So yeah, I actually came to actually like The, the Great Feminine. I mean, you kind of have to change the flow up, man, to you know, stay current and stay popular and you know, stuff like that. So yeah, I agree with it. I, I, actually kind of did like it. I, I understand. Uh, mm. So, uh, and, and other things, uh, relating back to the sw to swimming, I'm pr pretty much literally just heard, I literally just, uh, you know, heard, you know, songs here and there of anything recent he made. I just heard the songs just, you know, here and there and splats. And I'm like, you know what, man, while I'm doing this shit, I'm just wasting time. I'm just going to literally just uh, just uh, listen to the whole album on repeat and whatnot. Like hear every all all fourteen tracks, and I did. And uh, I've said to myself while listening, it it sounds a lot like the Great Feminine. Uh, at the time, a really average album. But now that I think about, but as I said before, it's 
those were just uh, the great feminine was just the key to the to the door to it to a new style and new concept from Mac Miller uh, as y'all know that the sw uh, swimming was uh, actually was actually pretty well received by critics and uh, you know he had a whole lot of uh, people on he had a whole lot of producers and people on it uh, uh, Snoop Dogg was uh, help uh, push it uh, Vince Staples and so on help push them whatnot and uh, pretty much yeah that's about it uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I kind of like that it was a new concept he was starting off a new concept it was something different it was something fresh you know he's gotten a new flow he got a new concept a new uh, a topic you know new things to, to, to suggest now you know what I'm saying that's all I'm just saying uh, I pretty much liked every song of course my favorite was 2009 and and then uh, self-care and jet fuel and whatnot I just I like the really jazz you know esque flow and atmosphere and concept to it and pretty much uh, uh, swimming itself was pretty much Mac Miller saying you know this is what I'm going through right now I'm you know I'm, I'm climbing up like in the self-care music video when he was climbing up the uh, he was climbing out his wooden casket, uh, Kill Bill 2 style. Uh, pretty much, it, it, it was it, it was the mark that, you know, he's getting a higher ground. He's starting to get his face out and get his name out and all that. And, you know, of course, he fucking died. So, yeah, that's what kind of, you know, makes it more tragic as I, uh, as I, as I explain it. But, yeah, pretty much, it was pretty good. It was solid. It, it had, I liked the jazz flow. It was solid. It had had a it had a good amount of songs. I pretty much liked all of them. I'm going to still say Jet Fuel or or So It Goes or, or uh, 2009 is my favorite song. But pretty much yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to have to give the album of uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm giving the album an exceptional. Um, if you know if it wasn't if it wasn't obvious from how much I was uh, brag uh, I was uh, uh, bragging about it, how good it was. Uh, yeah, uh, this is pretty much the end of the review. Uh, you know, you, you know the routine. You know, if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you like what I have on the channel, subscribe. Give notifications if you ever want to catch me around and whatnot. And like I said, my anti-drug video, man. Just, just say no to the shit, man. Y'all don't need it. I really don't want to lose. I don't want to lose any more of a. Uh, you know, really strong celebrity icons, because really amongst the most of them, you know, all of them passed. You know, I grew up on, uh, you know, the Batman trilogy with Heath Ledger and and ASAP Yams and and uh, ASAP Yams and Alfredo Santana and uh, Prince and Michael Jackson. They all died from OD. I'm just more or less saying, I just all this shit over time, it all piled up. How even like the Wu Tang Clan, and I was kind of devastated when I actually. You know more heard about you know the documentary the Wu Tang Clan and how uh, um, old dirty bastard that from a cocaine addiction. So pretty much all hearing this shit, all the shit I like, hearing how all all, all the people I like, you know, celebrities and 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 icons and all of them, how they all died, you know, from uh, drug addiction. I'm just saying, man, we gotta finally take a stand for this shit. We gotta fucking say no and stop stop uh, treating this like it's okay. Like we supposed to be saying this to the next generation. Because they don't need any part of this, man. It's, it has nothing to do with them. Uh, well, yeah, that's about it. I might come out with, with an extra two more video, uh, videos. And from there, I might like be all for a minute. If, you know, anything comes up, of course. Because, you know, I'm, it may, I may not look it and... Actually, I'm. I think I'm not exactly crying. No, I'm just. I, I'm. I'm. I'm weeping from the inside, more or less. And you know, I'm. I'm still kind of grieving over it. I might be off for a while, cause you know, like literally, as time as I heard that man passed away, the literally first thing I did was literally just play all of his music with that high, with that high volume on, with the door open. It was you know tribute. You know what I'm saying. Uh, that's pretty much about it, man. Uh, I'll catch y'all around and whatnot.